and it's mad. Like there's two, there's Sarah in the office, there's Vanita in the office now, so they're both working full time, and there's only me and they out on site. That's an extremely high amount of, of admin. admin. For what's basically just a, a well, a I was going to say business. it's me and you out on site, but you're yeah. getting dragged to admin yeah, most of the I day. Yeah, but I end up doing this. Really, there's like three of us doing admin. Ah, we're recording. Yes, we've been recording the whole time. <laughs> I was just sure if you were talking to yourself. Get with it, they eh? crumbs. Ah. What should we talk about? Seeing as I haven't uploaded any content in about five weeks, should probably do something make an effort to yeah um couple of reasons i mean we've lost our normal cameraman for the minute which we've lost we are our cameraman is down we're a team member down at the mo and yeah that has caused issues we've been well well nay's been working i've been running around london looking for an industrial <laughs> unit <laughs> and we were so close oh tantalizingly close and it fell through, so I'm hunting for another one. I did find one, which ticked all the boxes. And then I went and pissed the landlord off, and that was the end of that, really. So <laughs> I'm, I'm hunting around for a new one. He may be listening, so he can't say things. So. Mary, Maryland? I'm really okay. What is going on with you, doll? Well, I'm just keeping food on me. You're turning into me. I know, you've always got a stash of food. Yeah. Honestly, she turns out to work with a three-course buffet in her bag. Yeah, I've been looking for an industrial unit somewhere where we can work out of. Couple that with uh, work, couple it with COVID, couple that with tier four lockdown, couple, which I'd like to point out no one's bloody listening to. But the cherry picker arrives first week of February. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of glad to see this month gone. Yeah and get to 2021 and hopefully yeah everyone's saying that hoping we get yeah let's just get 2020 out of the way but i don't actually think i was gonna say 2021 so I don't think it's, gonna be any better. <laughs> it's not gonna be a lot better it's i don't not. think it's not okay you don't need to read any of that all that matters <laughs> is you need to give me a squiggle there by the employee yep and i will sign up now because i need this for the hers registration so that's to say that i have i'm just here you. yeah yep just to say that I've bought you lots and lots of training and that you will actually do it. Okay, sounds really good. Excellent. See, look, I'm being a responsible employer, everyone. How does it feel? Oh, shit. It's so much bollocks. This is what I'm going on about. <laughs> like, it really is, though. Like, I've had to buy, for this, hers, this highway electrical register thing, right, I've had to buy, straight up, manual handling course, vehicle maintenance, hand tools at work, power tools at work, risk assessments on site, bullying and discrimination. Bullying and discrimination? What the fuck? Goes on, noise at work, slips, trips and falls. Who the f wants to do a three hour CPD course on slips, trips and falls? Yeah, so this is the reason why content's not been going out because I basically spend my day now doing all of this. Right, I'm now gonna take this lot to go and see an industrial unit over in Hangar Lane. Oh, you got another place? I have a place I have to go Hangar and look Lane. at in a minute. <laughs> It'll have to do. Okay, so industrial units. Now, I've been looking for one for the last sort of four or five months, and we did have one lined up, which was going, it was going through, and for various reasons, it, it fell through. So I'm, I'm on the hunt now for another one. I mean, I'll show you one of the ones here that I'm looking at now. I'm actually coming, I've come out today to have a look at it, but it isn't quite, it's not quite what I'm after. Okay, so I've just spun the camera around, but you get an idea, those sort of industrial units, that's roughly what I'm after. But to give you a gauge of price, these are about 35, 40 grand a year, somewhere around there for one of these units, roughly. Which by the time you add on business rates, because you don't get small business rates relief on these sort of size units, you're then talking, I don't know, 50, 50 grand a year, somewhere around there for a unit like this. So yeah, that's what's been absorbing the time. Uh, you know, that's why the content's just been down because I've just, my head's just been so in this, just trying to get this, uh, you know, just trying to get it up and running. And Vanita, you know, Vanita's in the office now with Sarah because both of them, there's so much paperwork trying to do this sort of, this hers risk assessments and uh, risks, that's another one we're doing and safe contractor and chass and all this, trying to do all of them. The paperwork is just, I honestly never come across so much just so much paperwork it's you know so that's Vinita's in the office full-time now which you know that's another 
it's another wage every month you've got to find and then you've got this and I need this because I need this unit because a cherry picker arrives in uh, first week of February they deliver it so you know that's more money out the window every month and then you've got Mark who's starting beginning of January hopefully and you know that's that's another wage that's got to be found so all of this is just uh it's just trying to i'm just trying to keep the ball rolling and unfortunately the content has just that's why it's just taken a hit because there's just so much other stuff i'm trying to sort there are smaller units because this these units here are about three thousand square foot which i think is about the sort of size about two and a half three thousand square foot is what we need to to grow because i want a unit that we grow into I don't want something that we we get now and then in you know uh, 12 months time we're looking at upgrading because we need more room I'd rather have something bigger now that we can grow into so yeah if I seem stressed or whatever it's because of all of that it's just trying there's just a lot that which I'm trying to sort right I'm actually running past a unit this one isn't actually up for let this is actually a client's unit a, cu a customer that I know it's their unit but that's one idea and that one there I think is about 2,000 square foot something like that the only downside to it really is the rent that they're going to want for that because here I'm actually I'm actually on the north circular if you go just out there and turn right that takes you straight onto the north circular but it has got advantages um because one of the things i did need it has to have a, a a roller door which is at least three and a half meters high which i think is about there on that because i've got to be able to get the cherry picker in so i've got to be able to have a unit like this but it's got to have a door which is at least three and a half meters so one of the other problems i did find is that the taller the door gets so the taller that door gets the more expensive the unit becomes so for instance you can just see over there there's a couple of units there but those doors are only three meters tall and because of that the rents on those are cheaper that is actually a factor they take into consideration that is that will make those cheaper but it's also useless for me because i can't get the, the bucket truck in there so i just thought i'd show you that one quickly because that's a little bit more along the lines of what i'm after Hi. she's always taking a piss out of me i'm trying to be spontaneous and upbeat we're doing a fuse board change today after an EICI. It failed cataclysmically, so we've got to put a new board in. And this here, you don't come across this very often. This isn't like twin and earth. You know when you've got twin and earth, and as long as you know, as long as you've got both legs of the ring, you've got live neutral and earth all in one. When you're running in singles, you do, if you just go and disconnect all the neutrals, you don't know which is which. So you, you end up, you can really end up chasing your tail if you don't disconnect them carefully. So that's how we've done it there. Just that's one ring. So you've got live and neutral. I mean, this is actually Naomi's work. I'm just taking over for a second just to show you what's going on. So that's one ring, two rings, and we just bunch them like that. And then they go back in together. I'll show you. We just mark them up with uh, some permanent marker. So that was one, two, that was circuit five. That was circuit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And that's how we mark them up. Uh, what we did notice, Mark is with us today. It's fucking awesome. I love Mark. It's fantastic. During the EICR, what we did find, these aren't earthed either, are they, from memory? No. And they've got this weird junction box in the middle. Where... It's a weird, they've, <laughs> everything's earthed through the conduit, but for some reason the light fittings, they didn't drag the earth through onto the fittings. I have no idea why, so. Well, some of them actually, they just left the tag behind yeah. the fitting. And they're not double insulated, they have got to be earthed, so pass, I don't know. We're going to try and drag an earth through to each one, or I'll just put double, double insulated fittings up. I was going to say it's a power off, but fuse board's off at the moment, isn't it? I just want to measure that diameter and just see if we can just put a... There is a tag up there. Yeah, no, so I'm just thinking if we can go through with all of them and actually tag it where it's meant to be. Hello. 300. No, that answers the question. Those lights can't go up there. We have to put those old ones back up. These are the world's biggest light fittings. The ones I ordered were 300 mil wide. All right, oh, Mark's on the case already. Yeah, Mark's joining us today. Um, I think I think he's starting in January, but I've got to broach that topic with him. It's the ugliest light fitting in the world. Fuck, do you find a light fitting that big? They can't, they're not decorating, they said. So we've got to find, that's the only reason, otherwise they just put a normal light fitting and just get the decorators and they can decorate afterwards, okay, but they're not. Okay, it's not um, the end of the world. <laughs> It won't take long. Do you hear that? It won't take long. Right. If at any point, of course, you'd like to subscribe to this genuinely entertaining content, you just need to click somewhere down here. Um, 
beyond that, that's basically about it for this week. And uh, yeah, we shall let uh, me and the good camera guy here. We'll see you on another video.